On tonight's programme, catastrophe for the Channel Islands. Leaving work for the last time? Fulfilment fallout. Businesses across the bailiwicks are struggling to come to terms with the LVCR defeat. Fewer jobs and more jobless. Jersey's saturated labour market struggles following the loss of LVCR. Headlines that highlight a tough year for the Channel Islands. The reality behind them is Bradley Rice. In a matter of days, he'll be walking out of his job for the last time. Unemployed after six years working for Play.com. We've all got to do, do what we got to do, really. Seems right out of work, got to start looking. We're looking now, but as the job situation is, it's going to be hard for everyone. It's hard because he's now among hundreds of others looking for work since the islands failed to overturn the UK's decision to scrap VAT relief. A decision that's seen bigger businesses who used to undercut their mainland counterparts shut up shop and move to more suitable climates for selling. But left out in the cold have been the small island companies unable to relocate. Arguably the hardest hit have been flower growers. In Guernsey, the number of exporters has dropped from 15 to just four. The very people the relief was meant to help has instead left them struggling to survive. The owner of this business isn't around to talk to us today because he's repairing storm damage to the greenhouses. But he did tell us in the last year the cost of sending flowers to the UK has gone up because he's no longer got the 20% tax relief and postage costs have increased. And that's meant people are buying smaller boxes of flowers. He says he's hemorrhaging money after a frustrating fight to stop the big players making the Channel Islands an easy target. But the UK's bid to claw tax back has seen postal volumes crash too. LVCR and our customers that sort of benefited from LVCR account of about half, half of our total mail volumes and that half is down by 80%. 80 so it's had a very big impact on us. At Guernsey Post, a similar story. They lost seven of their top ten customers and £16 million in revenue. But despite those monetary losses and huge job losses, Jersey says the islands were right to exploit the loophole. It certainly employed a lot of people. Uh, it's created a lot of um, economic activity. So uh, I think not to exploit it uh, would have been a mistake. And, and clearly it was sitting in uh, the commercial area where businesses saw an opportunity and they capitalised upon it. That's as maybe, but the growers LVCR was meant to support are still counting the cost a year on. Jess Stevenson, ITV News.